Hello friends, yours truly here again with a few words of encouragement from the Lord. And this time we are in 2 Timothy chapter, 2 Timothy chapter 2, and we'll read from verse 1. 2 Timothy 2, reading from verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardship, endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So hardship is a part of being a good soldier of Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says. Then it says, no man that warreth. I want you to pay attention to this chapter, verse, verse 4 of 2 Timothy chapter 2. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. No man that warreth entangleth. You have to be careful how you live your life, friend. What kind of business transaction you go to. What kind of commitment you make if you are a Christian and you're looking for the kingdom. You're looking for the second coming of Christ. Because if you get too entangled and have your um, too many irons in the fire, then you'll be distracted and you can't pay attention to your spiritual life and the things that God would have us do to build up his kingdom and to warn mankind of the judgment that is coming. Because this is not just about going to heaven. It's about being shut out of heaven as well and what the consequences will be. People take it lightly that it's just like, you know, well, so what? But it, there shall be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Just as in the time of Noah, people were being warned by Noah for 120 years and they would not take heed. And even when they saw the animals going to the ark, hmm? animals who are of a lesser intelligence than mankind obeyed the, the word of God and mankind stood outside laughing. And you would wonder what kind of people they were. But today, are we in a better position? We who claim to be at the height of civilization, with advanced technology and all sorts of capabilities. And still the word of God is being shunned aside while we en en engage in all sorts of in evil and immoral indulgence. And uh, those of us who are not engaged in it are pretty silent about it. Uh, we don't see the need to warn and to um, exhort people and so forth and so forth. And every day people are dying and going down in Christless graves. And it is our business, those of us who, who believe, to make sure we don't get entangled in these things, as well as warn our family members, our spouses, our children, parents, our, our, our cousins, aunts, uncles, everybody need encouragement and warning to be on the Lord's side. Because just as it were in the days of Noah, the Bible warns us, so shall it be in these last days. So you don't entangle yourself in all sorts of things that is gonna, you're going to say, God understands. God understands and he knows because you didn't pay careful attention to his word. And verse 5 says, And if a man also strive for mastery, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. So everything that you go has to be lawful and morally right in the sight of God. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider the husbandman. That means if you're laboring while you're um, teaching and exhorting others, you yourself should make sure that you're partaking of the heavenly manner right, at the same time before you can serve to others. Okay? Now, it says, Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. We all need this, and we need to pray every day for understanding in the word of God Almighty so that we are according to St. Timothy here chapter chap, Timothy said in chapter um, 2 verse 15 where he says um, study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly divided in the word of truth we need to spend more time in the word of God and that's why we are so careless that's why we are so indifferent, just like a little bit better off, better than the world outside there who don't care, right? Because they don't see any difference in our lifestyle. We still crave the things that they do, 
indulge in the things that they do, actually rub shoulder with them and compete with them in many of those things, instead of hastening and pressing on towards the kingdom of God. Yeah, we are too lax as Christians. It's as if we're just there to say, just in case. Just in case God see that I was trying. That wouldn't be good enough. Okay? Then he said, um, Consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things. Verse 8, Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. And that's the center of the gospel, that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Okay? Wherefore, I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. So once you begin to stand for the word of God and for the faith of Jesus Christ, you must expect trouble. You must expect trouble. Um, the, because the truth is an offense. The truth is an offense. And um, uh, people, who, people will not ever love the word of God. Most people. Because it's against our comfort. And we don't like that. We don't like that. And when you see uh, so many churches and preachers being so popular, you have to be careful and ask yourself what's going on here. Because Jesus was never popular. His disciples were never popular. And those who stand for principle and the word of God were never popular. So be careful of these mega churches and these multi-millionaire preachers. Because you've got to wonder who they're preaching about who they, and what do they stand for. Because the, the divine gospel of Christ is never popular. Never. So be careful of this popularity preaching and popularity churches that stand for nothing. Okay, so let's go on. Um, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. So the, 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 Paul is saying to Timothy here, um, he endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation. You see, the, 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 the passion that Paul has for, this, for the gospel of Christ and for people to be saved. There's a passion, there's an urgency, there, there, there is a, um, there's a sincerity, right? There's an urgency. Listen to this. It is a fearful saying, for if we be dead with him, we, all, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. Um, and verse 12. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they may strive not about words to, to no profit, but to the sub, subverting of the hearers. Listen to this. Verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. And remember this, what, what, what Paul said to, to, to Timothy. He said, 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Take some time out from your university study, from your high school study, from whatever you're doing to study the word of God. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Luke 4 and verse 4 and Matthew 4 and verse 4. Have faith in God, dear friend. Have faith in God.